Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching another episode of how we build a Moserite inspired guitar. Everybody who's been watching the videos so far knows that the last thing that we did was rough shape all of the necks and uh, we're going to move on today to final shaping. So my apprentice Ian was good enough to take me through rough shaping all of these necks and if you've been watching, you know that we have a special jig that we use the pin router and a 7 8 roundover bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, I mean, this thing is still, man, if you're a Telecaster player, this might be a neck that you could use, but uh, we're going we're gonna to take this down to the, you know, the neck size for people with non-Sasquatch size hands. And uh, we're going to go from, we're going to go from this to something a little more like this. This neck is um, 860 thousandths here at the nut end and it goes to probably around 920 in this neighborhood right here, somewhere now around the 12th fret. And we're gonna use some cool tools to do this. That's especially fitting because it was Norm Abram's birthday just the other day. So if you grew up watching Norm Abram's New Yankee Workshop like I did, uh, you know that Norm has a lot of tools that you probably didn't have. So in honor of Norm Abrams' birthday, I'm gonna be using some tools that I don't think everybody has. And one of them is my deadhead sander. I don't think you can see it in the picture uh, right now, but I'm gonna show you again here in just a second. I say again because I already made a video about the deadhead sander. If you haven't seen it, don't have to worry about going back and watching it because I'm gonna make an all new one right here and it's gonna be excelente. So let's check it out. So my deadhead sander started life as a, uh, it's actually a vintage sander made by Acme. And I think they had a lot of these in, um, uh, you know, like high school wood shops and stuff like that. And what we've done is we've modified the original sander with this big block right here. And we've put an extended size belt. Normally what would happen is it would just go across this guy right here and it would come straight uh, like this. But what we've done is we've added added this and uh, you'll see why we shaped it like that here in just a second. So as you can see, the neck actually fits just about perfectly on this, um, this flat surface right here. By the way, this is why they call this a dead head sander is because it doesn't have a, doesn't have a wheel. It's, um, and this isn't a true dead head sander for those of you uh, who know what I'm talking about, you'll know. Um, but anyway, uh, Let's actually uh, turn this guy on and do some shaping. So the first thing that we're gonna do is um, we're going to get this neck. See how we still have a little bit of a ridge right here. We're actually gonna take this neck down to approximately the thickness that we want and um, all the way across. And because the deadhead sander is straight, we'll basically just be able to put it right on here and, and go to town. And we can also uh, start to establish our neck carve at the same time. So enough with the bullshit talk. Let's, uh, let's start using power tools. That sound you hear in the background is my heater. It's snowing here at the shop, so I'm not turning it off to make this video. Um, so as you can see, the uh, deadhead sander makes short work of a neck like this. Here's the one I was just working on. Um, I'm gonna hold them up here so you can see. See how there's uh, where the radius uh, bit left some I mean, that's just where the radius is. And then you can see how the deadhead sander took care of that on both the heel end and the, uh, where the volute is going to go and get them both in there. There you go. So I'm actually pretty close right now. 
Um, and this is about the time where I like to shape my volute. Now, you probably could do this on your deadhead sander, but I like to do it with a rasp. And that's just me. You can do whatever you want because you're so smart. So what I do <clears throat> right about this time is I draw where my volute, what my volute is going to look a little bit like. And it's going to look a little like that. And then I'm going to go over to my uh, neck shaping station and I'm going to hit this with a rasp. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here I have the neck in the uh, neck shaping holdy thing. And um, I am going to take that pencil line. I'm going to make that into the shape that I want to use. All right, everybody, I'm going to use a handful of different tools. I'm probably going to start off with, uh, with this microplane. And I'm just going to kind of bust this edge off. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to this, uh, I think they call this like a dragon tooth rasp. These are really cool. If you don't have one of these, invest in one. They're, they're fantastic. Now when I get to about here, I like to start feeling the neck and make sure that I'm, you know, not too, not favoring one side or the other. And that feels pretty good. Finally, I'm going to switch over to this, I guess it'd be like a rat tail file, only it's made for taking off bigger chunks of wood. And what that's going to do is really just kind of smooth out all the other rough marks that I left with the other rasps. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the deadhead sander and continue on with this. So like I was saying, I got there was some rasp work and I got my volute most of the way done. Um, so we're going to go back and hit this on the deadhead sander. We're going to keep thinning down the neck till we get it to the, uh, the thickness that we want. We're going to keep profiling it also on the deadhead sander. Now I will shape the heel on the deadhead sander and you'll get to see that here in just a second too. Um, again, you know, I think if you were just using this tool to make necks all the time, you could probably get really good and not have to go back and hit it with the rasp, but it's just what I like to do. So, um, you know, your mileage may vary. If you have a deadhead sander, leave, leave something in the comments below and uh, tell me how you do it. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, fire up the power tools again and uh, let's check it out. Okay, so I'm sure everybody realizes that at some point you need to check your work and that's what we're doing right now. Um, so what I like to do is I like to take just a pencil and draw lines about every couple inches down the, uh, the length of the neck. And the next thing I like to do is check the contour with this gauge right here. And um, you know, you can do this, you can kind of do this freehand like I'm doing right now or you can do it a little bit uh, more scientifically and, um, you know, actually try to match a specific contour for a customer or you can try and match, um, you know, another neck that you're going to try to duplicate. But in this instance, we're, we're good to go with just um, having, uh, having, doing it freehand. Cause I know what I want these necks to be like. I know the thickness here. I know the thickness here and I know I don't want them to be V's. So, you know, they're going to be something like that. Um, by the way, the, uh, the deadhead sander table is flat for a reason. And it's so I can do this right here on the deadhead sander. So one other thing I like to do is I like to draw on where the body meets the neck and, uh, then I can, start to shape the heel area. As you can see, I got 
I got quite a bit that's going to need to come off of there. So we'll go ahead and do that on the deadhead sander too. Because I'm matching this neck to a specific body, I can get the heel to body transition to be spot on exactly where I want it. And um, so, yeah, I can do all that on the deadhead sander too. Follow along, let's do it. All right, so we're just about done with this neck here. All we have to do now is uh, maybe some uh, some hand sanding. You know, we're, we're basically done shaping. All we're gonna do now is smooth over any rough spots, uh, any rasp marks. One thing I will do is uh, I'll run the back of the headstock through the old man machine again, and we'll get this uh, volute area nice and crisp looking, and it will be beautiful. So, um, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like the video, make sure to give us the thumbs up. And if you appreciate content like this, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the tools that I used today, or um, maybe you'd like to uh, share some of your stories about using deadhead sanders, or uh, just shaping necks in general, please leave them in the comment section below. So as always, this is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars, reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody.